billion. There are approximately 7 billion people in the world, and the majority of them use mobile phones, usually smartphones. According to Stansta.com, 40% of mobile phone users actively use social media. This high percentage of users complements the following statistics. Amount of people using Facebook, 1.5 billion users. WhatsApp, 900 million users. Instagram, 400 million users. And Twitter, 316 million users. With a large amount of the world's population using social media, it's no coincidence that cyberbullying is increasing. I think that cyberbullying is really bad. I think that just like any form of bullying, I think that it takes a real cow to do it and I don't think it's okay in any way, shape or form. I think that in today's society, it's enabled by the fact that you don't have to show your face, you don't need to show your identity as well, speaking into happiness. A lot of people are saying things that they will never in a million years say in real life because they know that it's just not okay and just not acceptable. But the fact that it's on the internet allows a mask, a cover that you don't need to come out of. So it gives everyone the free will to say and do whatever they please without really having to follow any moral high ground. A former victim of cyberbullying reveals her story of what happened and how she felt during the period of time she was being cyberbullied. It affects me really badly. I feel I can't talk to anyone, that I'm always by myself, that I'm always thinking the worst of myself and anyone else. I hardly see my friends or my family. I feel like I have no one. It's just affecting me really badly and I just can't do anything about it. It was just constantly there all the time. Messages, online statuses, um, just making jokes, things like that, threatening me. And it would never leave me alone. Like literally it was there all the time. Um, I couldn't do anything about it. Now I've just stopped using social media as it is. It gave me so many suicidal thoughts and I went to the worst place ever that I couldn't go back from. A very popular case of cyberbullying that has gained a lot of media attention over the past years was that of Amanda Todd. She was a 15-year-old female who committed suicide after being subjected to cyberbullying. She was bullied and harassed into showing her breasts via webcam and this resulted in her constantly being bullied at school as well as online. This story highlights the implications that cyberbullying has on one's life. Not only was she bullied online, but it had started to affect her in school. Mr Manning has this to say about cyberbullying and what he is doing as an individual with power to deter it. I think one of the problems these days is that, that technology is so advanced and fantastic. It really is fantastic. But we have to work with students and make sure that they are responsible in how they use technology uh, effectively for their learning, but also in their relationships. So we, we've spent time talking to young people, both in lessons and in assemblies, about what is safe use of uh, the internet, and social media, and so on, and what our expectations are. But also I think it's important to educate young people about where the law stands in terms of their responsibility, because of course they can get themselves into trouble if they misuse it or abuse it in some way, shape or form. The SHARP system is something that we use very effectively in this school. Uh, it's called the School Help Advice Reporting Page. That's what SHARP stands for. When you click onto the website, uh, the SHARP system is available. And once you click onto the SHARP system itself, this particular screen comes up. And it's got lots of information on the system, as well as a picture of me, because information comes only to me. It doesn't come to anyone else and it comes through uh, an inbox that has a sharp system inbox directly to me. Once you get onto the maker report you press I accept and generally what most people do is they go to the use of the form and it gives you a number of options. Now it does say here name is optional. One of the weaknesses of the system is that if you don't identify who you are in making a report I have 1,500 students in school. I will not know who you are in order to support you. So for me, please fill in a name here. You don't need to put in your address or postcode, just identify who you are. If you want a response, then please obviously put an email address in here. Scroll down, and there are some drop down boxes here to indicate what you're feeding back, what your concern is about. Please indicate that. But the most importantly, detail here what the concern is and then press send. 